Bryony Berridge explains how to prepare to evaluate. We have an imaginary Toastmasters, <laughs> Sebastian and Mia. <laughs> Sebastian is a new member to the La La Land Toastmasters Club and has already delivered a few speeches. Now he's been assigned to evaluate Mia's speech for the upcoming meeting. Bryony, what advice would you offer Sebastian to help him prepare effectively for his role as an evaluator? Thanks, Christina. So I think the first thing that Sebastian should think about is actually getting a copy of the evaluation form for the particular project. Every project has its own evaluation form. So for example, Mia might be doing the researching and presenting project. And in providing his evaluation, Sebastian will want to think about how well she has basically undertaken her project and let the group know how she's undertaken the project, her or her impressions or her experience or whatever. Now, he doesn't just be back on the project, though. He also wants to think about things like how well did she deliver the speech in updating people on her project. So things he might be wanting to look at are things like clarity, was the speech clear, her mm. eye contact, gestures used, and so on. Now, at this point, I'd say it's actually worth him talking to Mia in, ad in advance to understand, does she have any specific points that she's actually trying to work on at the moment? So, for example, she might have been told that she's not very good with eye contact and she, she's really working on this very hard. So that's something specific Sebastian might look out for during the course of her speech to let her know whether she's actually, you know, getting the improvement that she wants. Now, another that, thing, sorry, carry on. Yeah, no, I was going to say, yeah, that's that's really good to have a focus, you know, talk to the speaker and ask them, what do you want me to focus on this speech for your for your evaluation? So, yeah, carry on, Pirani. Yeah, so I would say think about both the project particularly, but also how the speech on the project was delivered. It's important to remember that the time for an evaluation is really quite short. I mean, it might feel long when you go into it, but actually it runs out very, very quickly. So Sebastian really needs to think about making the best use of the sort of two to three minutes that he's got so that he can give Mia as much value as possible out of that. Yeah. So, for example, it's really important not to basically repeat the speech given. Obviously, when he's given the evaluation, he'll want to highlight specific examples from the speech, but it can be a tendency for particularly kind of new Toastmasters to, to give a lot of information around the content of the speech, which is probably unnecessary. You know, the speaker knows what they talked about, so they don't need to have that recapped. Yes. And then finally, I would just say that if, you know, if he has any more questions or he's feeling a little uncomfortable, he's not totally sure what to cover in this evaluation, you know, I'd advise Sebastian to have a chat with his mentor or maybe one of the other experienced members of his club just to get a few hints and tips ahead of time. Yes, thank you, Brioni. So definitely check out the evaluation form. Speak to the speaker that you're evaluating and ask for the uh, focus for that speech or that project. And finally, if still need help, ask for your mentor or any advanced Toastmaster in your club. Thank you, Brioni. Thanks, Bryony, for sharing your tips on how to prepare to evaluate.